Getting married means you'll have someone's hand to hold, even when you're feeling sick, even when you're old. It means when you sit down to eat, someone will be there, so you won't have to tell your day to an empty chair. It means when you need some help, someone will help out. Someone will always near you, so you won't have to shout. But best of all, when it's time to turn out all the lights, you won't have to be alone, there's no scary nights. So even though you don't have toys, you don't have to care. Once you're married, you can be each other's teddy bear. Before I begin, I'd just like to thank you all for coming today. For those not aware, I'm buying everyone's drinks tonight, so just tell the bar staff the name of my tab, Will Waits, and you should be covered. <laughs> When Abby offered to give a speech today, we decided against the idea, as I'm sure you've all got plans for New Year's Eve to get to. <laughs> Abby spent her childhood dreaming about the perfect wedding, so she put lots of time and effort into making today a reality. Fortunately for me, I spent my childhood dreaming about sitting around doing nothing all day. In all fairness, I did do all the things Abby asked me to do. Every time I offered to help, she'd always tell me to be quiet and stay out of her way. And I think I did a pretty good job of that, so. <laughs> Lots of people ask why we chose a wedding date so close to Christmas. We agreed on a date around this festive time of year, because it's a time where families all come together and celebrate. And a time where everyone's already feeling happy and festive. So any really god-awful speeches like this one hopefully shouldn't dampen anyone's boots. This day is particularly special to us though because it's two years to this day that I got down on one knee in front of hundreds of people and asked her to marry me. And then after five or six hours, when she finished writing her pro and con list, she finally said yes. <laughs> Abby, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and as a reminder of the promises we have made here today. Where it's with love now and always. Tony, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And as a reminder of the promises. And as a reminder of the promises. We have made here today. We have made here today. Wear it with love. Now and always. I have no reason to stay. Abby, you make me proud. Um, your fight and determination uh, to move forward despite the many obstacles that thrown, life throws your way, um, it's great. Uh, the road ahead will be, uh, will be long and will contain many bumps, but if you travel it together, 
With honour and conviction, I'm sure it'd be a journey worthwhile. Over the last few years, I've seen how hard Tony has worked. Uh, and to get to where he is now, I wanted to say how proud he should be of what he's achieved. For Abby and Tony, and Millie and Phoebe, congratulations and all the happiness in the world, Evo. We have a gorgeous six-year-old daughter and an equally gorgeous four-year-old daughter. We have our own house, two cars, four pets and endless happy memories together. And today, after all we've achieved, I'm lucky enough to call you my wife. I can't even begin to explain how happy I feel to be your husband. Just like every other day, you look absolutely flawless. More beautiful than I could have possibly imagined. Abby is one of the most sweet, kind-hearted and gentle people I've ever met. She cares so much about her friends and family and always tries to make others happy. I can imagine no life better than the one I have right in this moment with my perfect wife. Abby, you're my whole world. There's nothing more important to me than to make you happy. I just want to say thank you for all guests for coming and you're also wonderful and kind and just thank you. I know you all like the sweets, but we will keep them. <laughs> So ladies and gentlemen, would you all please join me in raising your glasses in a toast to my wife and the new Mrs. Ripley, to Abby.